Hey guys, who doesn't love waking up at 4 a.m.? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my early morning routine for staying healthy <laughs> and sane for those long days that have an early start. Today's video is in collaboration with Daily Harvest, a subscription service of amazing smoothies and meal bowls. Over the past several months, my schedule has been really hectic and these little smoothies and meal bowls have been a game changer in my daily routine. Click the link in my description box. I have a coupon code for you guys. Yeah, their in-house chef and nutritionist create all of their frozen smoothies and meal bowls. They are amazing. They, the company partners with farmers and all of the produce in the uh, products is frozen at the time of harvest, so at peak ripeness. That ensures the highest uh, antioxidant and nutrient content and reduces food waste by making sure those ripe fruits and veggies don't go to waste that couldn't otherwise be sold in store. They have the nutritional information on the side in case you are wondering. And preparing them is really easy and really fast, so it's convenient when you don't have a lot of time. All you have to do is add water, or you could also add you know, almond milk, soy milk. Sometimes I add soy milk for a little added protein, and then you just pop it in your blender, the contents into your blender, and you can put it right back into the cup and drink it on the go with a reusable straw. Anyways, back to the start of my morning routine. Here I am at 4.30 a.m. getting up, Key is to get right out of bed and uh, get a little stretchy on. But getting started, I right away make my bed. You'll notice I sleep on top of my comforter. That's because I get hot underneath comforters. So the comforter is really just there for, I don't know, the look of the room. Um, and then I turn one of my lamps on at a time. This gradual increase in light just kind of helps me to wake up gently. And also another thing I do, I keep my phone outside of my bedroom so that when the alarm goes off, it kind of forces me to get out of bed. And then right away I start making my bed so that I'm not tempted to get back into it. And this also is nice because as I'm leaving my bedroom, my room is all picked up and tidy and it's just very satisfying from the get-go to have that clean space. So you all know I sleep with a little silk bonnet on my head. It just helps my hair from getting frizzy at night and uh, reduces hair breakage. I also sleep in like little bike shorts athleisure most of the time. I just find it's more comfortable. And you'll see I do a little exercise when I get up in the morning as part of my routine. So being already in kind of athleisure helps in facilitating that and cutting down on time. So I just head into the bathroom and give my hands a good wash in preparation for putting in my contact lenses. I do not recommend this particular hand soap that I'm using, however, by simple truth. Uh, first of all, you guys know I always, you know, urge you to avoid fragrance in products as best you're able. Uh, but the, that, that is not the only thing. The bottle itself, when you press down on it, it like sprays the soap all over. It's, I don't know, faulty design. So putting my contact lenses in is, uh, always a rate limiting step for me. They either go in really quickly or it takes forever. Then I take off my little sleep bonnet and I just comb through my hair with this uh, hair pick. This helps to remove any of the dead hairs that have fallen out from the day before or in, during the evening. It's normal to lose about 100 hairs a day and with long hair that can seem like a lot uh, just because each strand is quite a lot of bulk. So I just comb through very gently, try to not put too much uh, traction and friction on my hair shafts. And then I pin my hair up. Um, I am not a hair hair stylist. I can't do anything really fancy with my hair and I just like getting it off of my face. Uh, particularly in the morning because you guys know I'm going to put on all of that sunscreen and it's just nice to have your hair out of your face. I also put on a little hair band. This just helps to ensure that all of the little hair wispies are out of the way when I go to put on my sunscreen. I then move on to my oral hygiene routine. I floss my teeth twice a day just out of habit. I never question it. I just do it and I spend a lot of time doing this. I have really been enjoying this coconut dental floss, Coco Floss. It's really bougie and overpriced, but I swear it does a seemingly a superior job in just sliding between the teeth. I think it's all in my head. You know, sometimes when you pay a premium for something, your brain starts to believe that it's doing more than it really is. But anyways, I like it. And I also love using these Dentec Easy Brushes uh, between the teeth. It really helps my teeth are tightly spaced. 
and I just find that this helps to really get out the little plaque bits and also is good for your gum health. And then I move on to brush my teeth. This just happens to be the toothpaste I'm using. I'm not really particular about my toothpaste. It probably was on sale and I probably had a coupon for it and it probably was on Ibotta. Anyways, I this clip is sped up so I'm not that aggressive with my brushing. You should be really gentle and move in soft circles and get all surfaces of the teeth, the front, the backs, the sides, every, every little nook and cranny. Yeah, don't neglect the uh, health of your gingiva. Uh, inflamed gingiva can set you up for total body inflammation and has been associated with some chronic disease states. Anyways, moving on, uh, I put on my dermatology sunscreen or moisturizer with sunscreen, whatever you want to call it. Most sunscreens are moisturizers or are moisturizing to a certain extent. I spend a lot of time putting this on in the morning and uh, I like to make sure that I get a good layer all over every surface of my head and neck, including my ears, above my lips, uh, my nose, all around my eyes. Uh, it's really important to put sunscreen around your eyes because uh, sun-related skin cancers around the eyes are pretty common. And uh, many people co uh, complain that sunscreen burns around the eyes or stings. So choose a mineral-only sunscreen and be just really meticulous in how you put it on those surfaces. Just put a tiny, tiny amount and spread it out into an even layer. You don't need a whole lot on, on the eyelids, actually, to get a good layer. And just be very methodical and avoid getting it in your eyes. And allow it to dry before putting on other products. I think that helps in having it seep into your eyes. Again, make sure you get your ears and the tops of your ears. Skin cancers on the top of the ears are really common. And also uh, the, the sides of the face. Then to my body, I like using a chemical sunscreen as a moisturizer and a sunscreen. You'll notice I'm wearing shorts. This is what I'm gonna go do a little morning routine in. And so I'm just going ahead and putting it on even though I'm gonna wear pants later. I get it on my arms, my hands. Um, this is that Japanese Skin Aqua sunscreen I like. And then I also like to put on a tinted sunscreen just to kind of uh, have a little bit of color correction. And I've been enjoying this one by Claire. It is a um, mineral only tinted sunscreen. It has iron oxides, which will provide a additional coverage against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. It is on the darker side for a tinted sunscreen, so if you have a darker skin type, you might actually really like this. Uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't have that orangey hue, so I'm really liking it. It's water resistant, and the brand is cruelty free, and so I've really been enjoying it. It's very comfortable wear, no added fragrance. I recommend it, uh, and it goes on really nice. It's great for oily skin or dry skin. It's not greasy, and it just gives some nice overall color correction. Next, I head into the gym and have a little walking email time, as I call it. I uh, answer emails from my phone while doing just a little low impact walking, and then I do some abdominal core strengthening exercises. In total, I'm probably in the gym in the morning for maybe just about 20 minutes. This isn't my full workout of the day, but I do just like to start out with a little bit of exercise and um, I'm in movement rather than just going straight to being sedentary. And I end up being able to answer a lot of emails <laughs> from the from the treadmill. I typically enjoy going for a run in the evening time as a stress relief, and I find that I can get in the habit of not uh, keeping up with strength exercises or core exercises, and they're really important for bone health and uh, back health. Uh, there's an epidemic of chronic lower back pain that uh, core strengthening exercises can help help uh, lower the risk of. Anyways, uh, moving into my closet. Yeah, I uh, just pull on some pants over my little exercise shorts there. Um, they're kind of like shapewear too, very convenient. I didn't work up any kind of a heavy sweat or anything in the gym, so it's not as though you know I'm soaked in sweat or anything. And I can't go about my day without my earrings and jewelry on. I feel like I'm naked if I leave the house without earrings. Am I the only one who is like that? 
I like to get in a liter of water into my system before the day gets going. And if you've been watching me for any period of time, you know I enjoy adding Natural Calm to my water. It is a, it's actually a magnesium supplement, but I don't take it for that reason. I add it because I really like the taste and it helped me get out of the habit of drinking like um, diet soda actually. So uh, I'm just stuck with it and I really enjoy having it first thing in the morning. And then of course I have to have my coffee and normally I make my coffee one of three ways. I either use the Bialetti espresso maker on the stove or I use a French press or I rely on an instant coffee which is what I'm doing this morning. So I'm just getting the water boiling and then I'm going to make use of the time to unload my finish unloading my dishwasher and just kind of tidy up my kitchen space here. Fold these little towels that didn't get put away last night. Yeah, I don't know about you, but tidying up can really put my mental health in a good place. Just seeing things is like a huge stress relief. So for my instant coffee, I love these little instant coffees by Four Sigmatic. I always have them on hand. Um, Side note, those of you who watched my pantry organization video, I'm still going strong with that method in place. And that little carousel in my pantry there, or cabinet up there, has still, still been working out really well for me. So yeah, <laughs> instant coffee is so convenient. You just add water and you're ready to go. <laughs> but I am a coffee fanatic, as you guys know. So I have about 22 minutes left um, to have my coffee. I don't really have a huge appetite at this hour in the morning. I typically have my breakfast a little bit later, but we'll have a green smoothie first. So today I'm having the banana and greens with banana, cucumber, kale, spinach, lemon, and wheatgrass. But when I have breakfast later, that's when I take my B12 supplement because I follow a vegan diet. Love the color of green juices. <laughs> that alone will lift your mood. Uh, green has actually been shown to improve your mood. That's why in um, the theater, they always paint the the uh, kind of dressing room area green. It's a very calming color. Anyways, yeah, look how delicious that is. These smoothies are amazing. Totally recommend Daily Harvest. You guys, check the link in my description box. I have a coupon code for you. Uh, not only are the smoothies amazing, but they have these delicious meal bowls. They have overnight oats if you prefer to have some kind of a chewing type breakfast in the morning. And yeah, I just pop in my reusable straw. Uh, this is just a good way to get those fruits and veggies in. Then I have that and kind of answer some more emails from my phone and enjoy my coffee. I love checking comments too on my Instagram or on my latest YouTube video and responding to you guys before I get ready to head out the door. I'm just uh, putting on my Houston winter coat there. <laughs> it's not cold currently. And I've got my UPF 50 protective scarf. Yeah, I keep my scarf and my UPF 50 protective hat right there um, in the closet, so I never leave home without them. And yeah, thank you Daily Harvest for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Again, check the link in the description box. I have a coupon code for you guys for their delicious smoothies and meal bowls. But I hope you all enjoyed this morning routine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.